Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom blur effect inside of the Fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve 15. Now, if we take a look at the effect currently applying to this video clip, you'll see that the blur is affecting not only this text over here, which was the intended target, but also the video in the background. So that is what you get when you use the blur dissolve effect, and if I was to delete it there, you can see that both the background and the text are immediately unblurred. So the problem with that effect is that it blurs the entire window when you apply that on your layer. So in order to create an alternative, I'm going to delete that blur dissolve effect, and we're gonna go over to the Fusion tab. So on the Fusion tab, we can see that for my title clip, we have a template for the title over here, which I believe was just a text plus title. Of course, you can see that there was a little bit of keyframing before to set up uh, increasing or decreasing of the size over time. And this template outputs to media out. So a very simple setup. But we can modify this further by adding a blur node in. So to do that, I'm going to right click, go to add tool, and you'll see blur here. So you can see that you have a good chunk of options here, but we'll stick with a simple blur for right now. So this blur node needs to go in between our template, the text plus, and the media out. So I'm going to remove the connection between template and media out. And instead, I'm going to connect template to blur and blur to media out. Now you can't see any blur effect yet because the blur size is still set to 1.0. Note that it is keyframeable, so you can easily animate a blur over time, just like you can with the size. So in the original effect, I wanted it to start blurred and then the blur kind of fades out until the text is crystal clear like this. So what I want to do is pick a point in the timeline, a frame, uh, let's say 25 frames in here, where I'm going to set the keyframe for the blur size at 1. Now I'm going to go to frame 0 and we're going to actually increase the blur. So I'm going to make this somewhere around... Uh, 10 or 15 points. So with the blur size set to about 15 at the first keyframe, which is frame 0 here, and the blur size set to 1.0 at the 25th frame, what we should get is an animation of this blur over those 25 frames. So I'm going to hit play here and see how it looks in the media out. Note that it will take a second to render all of your fusion effects. So let's play that back one more time, and you can see that over those 25 frames, the blur effect fades out until it is completely not visible because the blur size has been set back to its default of 1.0. So now if we go back over to the edit tab, we'll be able to see a preview of how that effect will look in the final <laughs> output. So I'm going to go through some of the frames here, and you can see that there's a little bit of a blur here for this Master of Honor title, but note that the background bicycles are completely visible at all frames. So to make it a little bit more evident that this blur effect's going on, I'm going to increase the frame where this blur size 1 actually occurs, and I'm going to set it to something more like frame 50, and I'll remove the keyframe at 25. So that slows the effect down from 25 frames to 50 frames, but it should look exactly the same. So now if we go through the frames on the edit tab one more time, you should see the blur effect, but it's going to take a little while for it to completely fade out. But it should be really clear that it's only this text layer that is being affected by the blur, which is what we're looking for. So let's play the final exported result. And there you go, that's how you can set up a custom blur effect inside of the DaVinci Resolve 15 for any layer so that your blur only affects the text layer or the video layer you want it to affect and leaves everything else alone. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.